The content on this channel has been created for adults. If you're not at least 13 years of age or older, then please do not watch this content. Sorry, dude. Come back when you're 13. family welcome back to the channel welcome back to off tap life always a pleasure to be rock and rolling for all you beautiful people around the globe guys we're back for another one we got a reaction request here from jazzy j and yes you guys it is some more john farnham if you haven't seen the title you didn't realize what you clicked on this is another john farnham of course it's going to be a masterpiece i'm already going to predict that this one's called A Touch of Paradise, and this is the high quality version of it. We're gonna dive right into this one right here because y'all know how I feel about John Farnham. He is a living legend, and uh, he's freaking got a voice, freaking just absolutely amazing voice. So, ironically, he has a song called The Voice. <laughs> he's got a voice. All right, let's go and dive in about further ado for me, for Jazzy J and all of you, John Farnham, a touch of paradise. Let's get off tap. Thank you very much. Thank you. We're going to slow down a little bit now. Give me a chance to get the blood back into my face. With a song that was written by one of my favorite songwriters in the world, a fellow named Ross Wilson. This one's from Whispering Jack, it's called Touch of Paradise. Touch my head. 
like that Touch song. Touch really paradise. Good. Oh my gosh, guys. John Farnham. Let me tell you something about John Farnham. John Farnham, he has the most incredible recording voice of like probably like when you think of artists around the globe historically speaking even from the beginning of time i would say john farnham ranks very high as far as having an amazing recording voice like we're talking about a voice that was just made to record vocals with and the cool thing about it is when he's performing live that quality is not diminished at all he still delivers at that same recording quality <laughs> like it sounds like he's literally just singing it's like the cd's playing you know what i mean or something like that you're listening to a classic on the cd or something of john farnham because the quality is at that type of level that he delivers live now when you perform live it's hard there's a lot of factors that could really make it difficult to perform at your optimum peak performance that you did on the studio recording. Some people can't pull it off whatsoever. John Farnham obviously can pull it off like it ain't nobody's business. He can freaking do it so effortlessly. He makes it seem easy. He makes it seem is like just like it ain't nothing but a thing, man. I'm just here. <laughs> you know, I got this. And I love how you listen to some of these classics like this and one thing that stands out in this particular song saxophone you don't hear saxophone like that now you do not hear them dropping saxophone madness like that on you know recordings these days you don't hear that sexy saxophone sensation that they had back in the you know it's a very saxophone era of music i say like the 80s you know the 80s they really love that saxophone in there they dropped that saxophone all over the place man and suddenly anytime there was a breakdown on a song you listen to stuff from the 80s and they got that little breakdown and you know somebody was about to go all freaking what's his name kenny g or something with the freaking saxophone dude <laughs> they about to go freaking saxophone crazy on it man like you know, so it's it's amazing. It's really cool to hear uh, music from other eras. I think if you are someone who truly loves music, you do do that. You explore music from other eras. Uh, you know, it's it's such a cool thing to do to listen to what they were doing in the '80s, what they were doing in the '70s, what they were doing in the '60s. And if you listen to John Farnham, you can listen to his L. L uh, evolution you can see how he grew and he matured we listened to we did a reaction to one of his earlier works when he was still like he must have been what 21 or something like that and uh, you can hear just how he progressed and how he continued to mature vocally how he became the freaking awesome voice that he became it's it's incredible the other thing and needless to say about john farnham which you know he puts off this really great energy about himself. His aura is such a positive one. It's so good. It is so absolutely good. You can feel it. You know, he seems like one of those guys that you would want to just get to know and hang out because he seems so friendly and so genuine and so real. It actually translates through his music. You can actually tell it through his music. You know what I mean? You can feel it. Like, man, this guy is like a wholesome kind of dude. You know what I mean? Like, you feel it. It comes across in his presentation, how he carries himself, how he actually just really embodies that wholesome goodness type of image. And it's great. I mean, it's, it's probably one of the reasons why he's so loved uh, in this country and probably the world over if you've ever heard him. If you, if you haven't heard him, you know, you're missing out. I would definitely suggest you to you know you can check out some of the previous reactions that i've done to his music as well right here in this channel and uh but you know look check out his stuff go and check out his i'm sure he's got his own official channel or and stuff like that that you can go and peruse but definitely worth taking the time to check out because this guy right here this guy right here is going to go down in the history books as one of the greatest that did it and that's the bottom line because i said so 
Anyways, <laughs> thank you, Jazzy J, for the awesome request. We got a double hitter with the John Farnham action. That was freaking everything I thought it would be and more. John Farnham, much love to you. You are freaking awesome. And as always, family, remember to reach one to the fullest and keep it off tap. We're going to end this one right here. Off tap out.